Heavy precipitation has been detected near your location.
Warm, as a matter of fact, so warm that we had records set officially in three different areas. So Anniston registered a record high today. Birmingham was 83 and uh, yeah, certainly much warmer than uh, what you'd expect for the last day in February. Keep in mind earlier this month we were talking about an ice threat. Totally different setup tonight as we are looking at a few strong storms coming into our northwestern most counties that coming up later on this evening into early Monday morning. One of the threats is going to be some flooding. Believe it or not, the rivers, river basins are a bit elevated right now, and you get a good heavy rain. That could uh, be very impactful here as we move forward. We do look to dry out, though, by later on in the week. Let's take a look at those temperatures. As mentioned, we were in the 80s earlier. We've cooled down a little bit. Aniston still holding on to 80 degrees there. 79 in Birmingham as well as Jasper. Still 81 as you head down 59. Those temperatures will likely drop into the 70s, but it is really, really warm. Now, one thing I noticed as I was looking at this, this is your water vapor imagery. So here's where you have all those thunderstorms, that rain that's back to the north and west. Right now, we have a little bit of a dry slot in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. That's a good thing as far as an inhibitor for severe weather. So just something I saw here within the last about 20, 30 minutes or so and thought I'd draw attention. What we need to get is some more moisture aloft to support thunderstorm activity later on tonight. Now, those storms as I mentioned, are back to the north and west. No active watches or warnings for us now. That flood watch includes, I believe, Marion, Pickens, and Winston County. But as far as any sort of severe weather, this is the outlook that the C that uh, was issued earlier by the SPC. And uh, you see this green. This is your marginal, so your lowest level. That includes the northern parts of uh, Jefferson County, the Birmingham area. And then as you get just to the northwest of Jasper, now you're in that slight risk. And that's where we're going to watch uh, for those storms to dip down. So I've, I've narrowed this down. This is a 12-hour future view to give you an idea of the timing tonight. So let's go from 7 o'clock up until about 11, because I think 11 is going to be really when we start to see this impact get a little bit closer to us. So Haleyville, Hamilton, perhaps seeing the lead edge of that line coming in at 11 o'clock. Now keep in mind, this is going to be weakening as it moves through. 11 to 1 is probably our window to see the best chance of severe weather, and that would be in our northwestern county. So Coleman to the west, Jasper to the north and west, north of Tuscaloosa, although there could be a few cells that make it as far to the south as Birmingham. By the morning commute on Monday, well, I will say this, uh, the storms will be sub-severe by then, but it's not going to make it any easier on the roads as we head out the door. So here's how I see things kind of panning out. The biggest threat's probably going to be flooding. Now, that's not necessarily a severe weather parameter, but it is something we could be looking at. Hail, not so much. It's, it's not out of the question because we did have the warm surface air and some cooler air.
feral off. That could provide for that. An isolated tornado, always possible. You'd love to see that eliminated. I think the next uh, biggest thing to watch is going to be those gusty winds. I've been watching the system today, and so far what it looks like is gusty winds, those severe thunderstorms with the potential of winds about 55, 58 plus miles an hour. So you can sloppy weather to start the week. Most of the rain is going to be early in the day on Monday. We'll see another round again on Tuesday. Once again, that's not looking like it's going to be on the severe side. Clouds stick around Wednesday. Those temperatures, if you like the warmth, I hope you enjoyed it today. We get a little bit cooler as we head towards the end of this week.